with another quick video. Uh, these guys are still not looking too good. Uh, I think the roots may be developing a little bit slowly here. Uh, but you can see them coming there, these little ones here at the very edge. Right there. And over here you can see the white ones there coming out to replace the other ones that have all but wilted up in terms of root systems. I think we have a similar situation over here. We've got these little white root stubs coming out trying to regrow new systems. So it definitely looks like the old ones got damaged beyond repair with the previous mistake I made with the water. Oops. And here we have something altogether strange. The roots don't look as nearly as discolored as the uh, as the other ones, but um, there. Are there are these blue stains here. I don't know if that's bad or not. You can see some new um, tendrils coming off of there as well. Anyway, uh, crap. Ooh, I'm getting this back in here. Is a bit of an issue. Whoa. Okay. Right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we got a little one there poking out the side. Underneath. Ah, this thing is bad at focusing. You can see a couple fuzzy ones there coming out. So there may be hope yet for these guys. Yeah. Last one. Same thing. Little stubs coming out. I think if we just leave them, and they, um, I don't know, they make it in time. The roots will drop and they'll start picking up the nutrients they need again, hopefully. And I'm crossing my fingers that I got the solution right this time. Okay, now uh, over here we have signs here of deficiency. The edges are turning yellow. The leaves are visibly becoming a bit yellower in certain leaves anyway. Um, also, I noticed this today uh, for the first time that we have some tendril wilted here. You can see the tips here are starting to shrivel up a tad and over here as well. However, uh, on the good side of things, this is a pretty nice healthy specimen of cucumber here. This was the first successful pollination. Uh, the one in the back that I didn't get pollinated here. Let's see if we can right there that is still at the same size or maybe shrinking I don't know uh, over here we have this one was pollinated uh, and I think this is progressive growth forward here similarly over here I uh, can't get a good angle Let's see if you can yeah right there was also pollinated uh, otherwise, we, I counted about a total of seven yesterday between these small ones like this one here and others just hidden in and around the area. But um, I think all eyes are on this little lady right here to see if we'll get at least one successful cucumber from this before, uh, I don't know, if, it, if it'll reach some sort of critical point where it can't sustain anymore in this small container. I started adding more micronutrients to address the what I think is another magnesium deficiency here with the yellowing. I have to check and see again but um, I'll also be adding more of the crop finisher and whatnot. Uh, I have to definitely change over from the use of plain water more often than anything else to uh, fertilizers solutions 100% uh, all the time. Uh, I think this was like uh, three quarter teaspoon here to the, I guess that's a liter. What does this say? Uh, three pounds, 48 ounces. I don't know, something like that. Okay. 
over here, tomato is doing good. Looking very nice, getting bigger by the day. Lettuce, carrots. You can see the, uh, the things coming out the middle. Well, I can see them. I don't know why this camera won't pick it up. Yeah, the new middle one is coming out. These guys are still hanging on. Cow is looking nice. Let's see here, over here. Lettuce doing good. Pak choy starting to really flower up there. Hasn't ripped itself out like this other one over here yet. This lettuce is doing pretty good. These new ones I planted two days ago, I think. They're sprouting over here. I think the seeds got washed further inside, away from the uh, opening. May have to do something there if they don't figure out a way to pop through that opening by themselves. Um, otherwise, I think that's it for today.